Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mots. Drinking wine at nine. I'm here with my really good friend, Larry Galceron. He is a wine guru expert from Summit Mountain <laughs> Gallo. He knows it all. And today we are celebrating the dog days of summer with these great wines from his portfolio. And before I go on, I just wanted to remind you, any of our viewers out there, if you have any questions for myself or Larry about anything, just ask. You can do that right away on your phone or on your computer. So Larry, welcome back to the table. Thank you, Mons. Glad it's to be back again. It's hot, hot summer, and we are going to discover these little treasures. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> dog days of summer, usually hot, although it's been nice and cool the last few days, but the heat's right around the corner again. That's right. And uh, what do you want to have? Something nice and refreshing yeah. and easy opening. All of them are screw top. No wine key necessary. That's Just right. grab a bottle, go to school, pop. Get it um, done quickly. So, but yeah, I wanted to feature some fun wines that um, are obviously really well made, really good to drink, and pair well with mm. food or also drink by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and the first one, the Talbot Chardonnay, wow. Cali Hart Chardonnay. So Talbot, they've been around for a while. They're <clears throat> just outside of Monterey Bay, and their vineyards, which is a Sleepy Hollow vineyard, right. has been named the Grand Cru of California by wine enthusiasts. They did a big thing a couple of years ago basically establishing vineyards within California that would be Grand Cru status. And Talbot Vineyards, all about Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, that's right. all they do. And, um, and they do it so well because they're always fan favorites, they're always employee favorites. Yeah. And not to jump the gun, but mm. the winemaker, female, Cammie Knudsen, yep. is a genius. And it really reflects in the first wine we're trying, which is the Chardonnay. Yeah. So Chardonnay, 100% Chardonnay, 65% uh, is um, stainless steel wow. and fermented, Beautiful. and then the other is aged in oak for about nine months, and then they blend those together at the end, so you get a nice Gorgeous. round mouthfeel, yeah. lots of flavors. Uh, honeysuckle, lemon curd, some... You get some tropical flavors. Yeah, I like that. Kiwi, that lychee nut. Sure, sure. I mean, it's beautiful. It's not your butter bomb, no. but it has a nice hint of mallow yes. on the finish. And it's just so affordable yeah. and always popular. You could pair this with my favorite fried chicken or <laughs> a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Lots of cheeses, yes. um, definitely some white fish. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a wide array that you can yeah. pair this with. Um, so tasty. It's so smooth. Yeah. What I like about Cami style is that it's balanced. It has finesse, it has integrity, and it has flavor. Yeah. Bottom line. I well, like that. And where their vineyards are, they're on the north end of the Santa Lucia Highlands. Yep. And they get a lot of fog through the growing season. And the heat coming out of the Paso Robles down south draws that cool air in and helps to keep the vineyards in that area right. nice and cool, yeah. um, which gives you a longer diurnal range. And basically that's the difference between the nighttime temperature and the daytime temperature. So you get a longer hang time, longer growing season, which gives you more acids while retaining your fruit right. flavors. I like it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Number two. <laughs> All right, number two, language of yes. Oh, Randall. Les Fruits Rouge. Yeah. So Randall Graham is the uh, the brains behind this project, partnered with Masro, uh Wine Merchants. And this is his, basically, he's known as a Roan Ranger of California. Yeah. He's Roan as in? Roan style varietals. Right, right. So Grenache, Syrah, Mouved, Senso. So, which this is Cinso and Grenache dominant with a little touch of Syrah and uh, mm. I anyway, smell a little Grenache. Yeah, mm. it's uh, it's a beautiful color, nice salmon color, yeah. and it's it's dry, it's crisp. Yeah, he touts itself as a pink wine, but don't let that dissuade you or confuse you because it's more rosé than anything throwback from yesteryear yeah and it's dry it's crisp it's refreshing pomegranate a little bit of hibiscus wild strawberries this is yeah, a great a raspberry sure sure golden raspberries this is yeah. a great wine for salads 
off the grill some soft cheeses, charcuterie. I mean, he does such an amazing job to begin with, and this is no exception. A couple months ago, we discovered a red wine of Randall Graham's, which was beautiful, the Syrah. The Syrah, yeah. He makes a Grenache, mm -hmm. a Cinso, which mm. the Cinso is amazing. Yeah, um, I love that. And he uh, is all about focusing on the old world style of Rhone while being in California. Yep. So that just leads trying to practice that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> so that leads us to wine number three, the only wine that's not from California today. Yeah. And it's the White Haven Sauvignon Blanc. And it has such a great backstory. I'll let you tell part So of yeah, so Sue and Greg White, they uh, decided to pack up and get on their boat, named the Chanticleer, decided to go on a voyage. Their plan was to go for like a one to two year voyage. A three hour tour. Yeah. A three hour and, tour. And uh, a hurricane was approaching, so they ported into Marlborough and found a safe haven. And while they were there waiting out the storm, they realized what a beautiful country right. Marlborough, New Zealand was. Decided to uh, plant roots or anchor, as they say. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, and started in 1991. Yeah. And it's, a, it's a young winery. And so they named the, the winery White Haven, white after their last name, Haven, mm -hmm. because of the safe haven from the storm. Right. The rest is history, but... Yeah, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful representation of Saab Blanc from yeah. New Zealand. And over the course of last 20, 25 years or so, they've had some amazing winemakers, starting with Simon Waghorn, brilliant, and Sam Smale, uh, Peter Jackson yeah. currently, and you can taste the beauty and the representation in this wine because it's so flavorful. Yeah, and it's got great acid, it's still got a lot of fruit, it's stainless yeah. steel fermented. Right. Um, a, it's it's all about showcasing the fruit. Yep. Um, Sauvignon um, Blanc, the style, you want to show that fruit. Yes. It doesn't need any oak or anything. Yeah, pomelo uh, and yeah. tomato vines, which is tomato season. Now you go into the store and just smell the vines mm -hmm. on the tomato. Just so good. Yeah, but crisp just, and clean. It is, and a little vegetal. Yeah. I, which, I give it that. It's not your grapefruit juice in a glass, but yeah. it just, it has balance, it has yeah. finesse. And, you know, they do such a great job in New Zealand. And that... Yeah, and Whitehaven has been one of the market leaders for well over a decade yeah. now. I mean, every single vintage, including this one, 90 plus rating. Right. This 2023 vintage just got last week from Wine Spectator, 90 mm. point rating. Beautiful. It's just a consistent yeah. oh. quality produced Sauvignon and Blanc. thirst quenching for the dog days of summer because yes. it's just so affordable and so tasty. Yeah. And the only <laughs> red we have today is also from Talbot. Talbot. Go ahead, Larry. So the Talbot Pinot Noir, going back to uh, all about Burgundian style wines. Um, <clears throat> this one had open top fermentation with the uh, the punch down and then they also did closed fermentation or closed top fermentation with um, pump mm. over and then they took those mm. two blended it um, nine months in French oak barrels and again just a, a very smooth approachable Pinot Noir yeah and we put a slight chill on this before we open them and you can do that at home because it really brings out the fruit so it's not insidiously hot in your glass it can be a little bit more drinkable mm -hmm. approachable and that's what we did and it really shows because she's such a great winemaker well and as cammy said in you know in an interview they're pushing the they're trying to push the envelope to see what their vineyards can yeah. provide in the different styles they make several pinot noirs you Argonaut carries two Pinot Noirs, two Chardonnays, but they have so many more that are available right. from the winery because they make small lot productions and yep. various styles and, and different winemaking techniques. And it, it's amazing how they the same grapes can taste so different it based is. on how it's made. It's endless. And today, being uh, Saturday, August 10th, uh, National S'mores Day, mm. I'll be tasting these today at the wine desk free from three until four and i have to give a shout out to our 
good friends, Al and Josh and George, because we love them. They're in Jersey, and we miss them to pieces. She used to be behind the scenes. So a shout out right back at you. Hello. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Larry, I can't thank you enough for introducing myself and all of our viewers to these wines because Ms. Sheila has them on sale and they're perfect for these warm summers. Warm days, it's just a nice escape. Yeah. So thank you again, Larry, for yeah. bringing these to our attention. And we hope everybody comes down to Argonaut. Our reset is done. Thank you for putting up with our mess. We appreciate that and we appreciate your patronage. Larry, thank you again. Cheers. Cheers. Hope to see Salute. you soon.